Hey folks, Doppler radar has been busy today, but as you look at it now, things really beginning to quiet down. The most significant rains down to the south of us now after all this stuff over the valley is kind of fading away and it will continue to fade away as we go into the evening hours. Things are just about done. Can't rule out a spotty shower. For the most part, we're done and the rest of the evening should be relatively dry. This is a look where rain has fallen today. And if we go in closer, you can see some very heavy stuff over the last 24 hours. Edinburgh down at a far and mission 2.2 to 2.6 inches of rain. And we got ground truth on that from Charlie Garcia, our storm tracker in the south side of far over two and a half inches of rain today. But notice it's a very narrow swath. You get back to Alton, much less. You get back to Palm View, uh, less than three quarters of an inch over toward Elsa, about a half an inch of rain there. Uh, Rosa say about seven tenths. We go farther to the east and it was very spotty. One pretty good batch just to the west of Port Isabel, 1.8 out there. Most of the other totals a whole lot lighter. So the heavy stuff in that one narrow swath from far McAllen up into Edinburgh and that's been about it. Now future track suggests that it just goes away tonight, fog forms. So by later tonight, just be careful as you drive out and about low beams, you know the drill because fog could be relatively thick in spots. But then tomorrow it burns off quickly. We get back to partly sunny skies again, and that will help warm temperatures back up into the 80s. And we should be rain free. I think this is it. After this evening, we're done for a while. Next shot maybe on Saturday with the next front. And even that, not a big chance right now. By Wednesday, still the same thing. Partly sunny skies after the morning fog burns off. So like tomorrow, some patchy fog early, then some afternoon sunshine. And that repeats itself on Thursday and Friday as well. So we're dry, dry, dry Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and dry on Friday. Again, Saturday, about a 20% probability of rain, but that number could change. Depends on how things look as that front gets a little bit closer. Here's where we are temperatures temperature wise right now. Upper 70s valley wide 76 to 79 is the range under thinning clouds. Let's call it that overnight tonight. Mid 60s again with patchy fog. Very much a, a possibility. A little warmer at the coast about 71 degrees there and then tomorrow afternoon we're back in the 80s again. So back above average finally after a few days of below normal temperatures we're working our way back to above normal as we head through this work week. 81 is the normal. We'll go 83 85. 85 and Friday looks even warmer than that. So staying warm until we get our next front in here around the rest of the state. Temperatures have warmed into the 70s all the way up to Austin. Rest of the state in the 60s. No fronts in the state today or tomorrow. By Wednesday, a front makes its way across Texas, but it doesn't get here. It stays way to the north, so it misses completely. So we warm up through the week. Next front shows up on the map along about Friday. That's the one that's due in here Saturday. It's just a question of what time Saturday. We'll get better ideas as we get closer to it. So tonight, mainly cloudy with some patchy fog around. Lows down around 65. Tomorrow, fog early, but then some sunshine. High temperature tomorrow afternoon ship should be up around 83 degrees. 85 for Wednesday and Thursday. Even warmer on Friday up to 87. Spotty showers on Saturday and the timing of the front will really determine what these numbers are going to end up being for Saturday. Sunday, though, a little sunshine, a little cooler, about 77 for the second half of the weekend. That is your updated first point five forecast.